Adam Beat, and welcome to the ASP video training series. In this video, we'll be talking about how to build a 5x5 deck platform from post holes to handrails. Installing a new or replacing a tire deck is a great project that ensures the family has a safe entrance and exit from the home. Some jurisdictions may require beefier dimensional lumber, deeper post holes, or different framing techniques than seen in this video. Be sure to work with your staff to ensure local codes are adhered to. Cut two pieces at 57 inches and two at 60 inches, then arrange them into a square and attach with deck screws. To ensure the frame is square, measure both diagonals and adjust until both measurements are the same. Once the frame is perfectly square, attach bracing to lock the frame into shape. Move the frame into the location to be installed and mark the location for the post holes. There will be a post in each corner and a fifth post to catch the handrails for the stairs. Once locations are marked, it's time to start digging. Here we are digging to a depth of 24 inches. Place cap blocks in the bottom of the holes and level them. This will ensure the posts don't sink into Mother Earth. Using posts and or temporary supports, raise the deck frame into place. Use a deck board as a spacer between the frame and the door sill to ensure there's enough room for a deck board and a quarter inch gap to allow for moisture to escape. Install frame to post temporarily with deck screws, working to ensure posts are plumb and deck is level between posts. Then install an additional framing member on the front of the rear post with ledger locks. Once frame is installed, install the common joist. Joists run parallel to the home and are installed 16 inches from the center of one board to the center of the next. Using a scrap 2x6 to place joist hangers or installing joists first with deck screws will ensure that the top of common joists are flush with the top of the band joist. Install joist hangers using appropriate joist hanger nails and 16 penny galvanized nails. Add 2x4 blocks around each post to provide a place to attach deck boards where they will be notched. Make sure to crown lumber by looking at the ingrain of the boards. Install deck boards to the framing using deck screws, ensuring the boards are placed tightly together. Once all deck boards are installed, it's a nice touch to chalk a line and trim the edge of the deck boards to ensure it has a nice straight edge. A deck wouldn't be complete without handrails, so to build those, we installed top and bottom rails to hold spindles. The bottom bumper is installed three and a half inches from the decking, so we can use a two by four as a spacer to set our height. The top bumper is installed so that the top of the 2x4 is at 34 and a half inches. It's a good idea to measure these individually as there may be some variation and we want to ensure they are a snug fit. Install these bumpers by toe screwing into the post. Cut off the top of the post using a circ saw and reciprocating saw. Install a 2x4 cap so that it sits flat on the top bumper and covers the top of the post. Once cap is installed, begin installing spindles. Spindles should be cut to length and pre-drilled. Start installing spindles with deck screws in the center of each section, using a level to ensure it is plumb. Using a 2x4 as a spacer will ensure spindles are spaced evenly. It is best practice to check plumb every so often while installing spindles for a high quality final product. Thanks for watching this video. We hope it has been helpful. Decks are a great project that can get your entire crew involved and provide an incredible service for the family for years to come. Be sure to check out our construction manual at ASPHome.org for helpful diagrams and tips on your next deck project.